Vanarama National League South action returned to Priory Lane with the visit of Bishop Stortford. But before the action, the teams of spectators observed a minute silence for ex-borough director Paul Robinson, who tragically died a few days earlier. The sports controlled much of the first half and deservedly went ahead when new boy Christian Oxley chamberlain set up Elliot Romain. It was harder going in the second half, but the borough held on and may have even have added to their goal difference. Tommy Widrington gave us his views on the match and a quick look forward to next weekend's Emirates FA Cup match up at Braintree. Tom, it's been a few weeks since uh, we were last here and uh, you've kept uh, a good uh, unbeaten run until today mm -hmm. and today you went one first and actually got a win on the board. How pleased are you? Yeah, really pleased with the result. Um, I thought we played really well in the first half and took the game to a team we knew were going to come and try and show things up. They've conceded a lot of goals of late, but in Mark and Steve, they were well organised uh, and tough to break down. But thankfully, we got our noses in front and I thought we would go on to, you know, to dominate in the second half. But I've got to say, they, they came out more a little bit on the, on the front foot for 15 or so minutes. Once we saw that off, I expected us to go and pick the bat on up again, but we didn't work their goalkeeper enough in the second half. And I've, I've told the players, you know, I don't mind I don't mind winning ugly, you know, one nil. Usually you do that away from home. We wanna we wanna play more football than what we did in the second half and they know my feelings on that. So anybody's frustrated, I understand that, but I also understand what it is to get the three points and it was a big three points for us. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's pushed you up the uh, table a place or two. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we, we can only affect the things that we can affect, you know, and we had a league game today. We're not going to play in the league now for two weeks, so that position will probably change and we can't do nothing about that. When everybody's played the same amount of games come 42, we'll see where we are. And, and uh, what we're doing now at the moment is, and we've done it since we, we took the bashing against um, Chelmsford, we've approached every game as a single uh, project. Unfortunately, today there's four lads not even got, got onto the bench, so it will not be the same four every time. You know, things will, things will change, but it's good to have a competition for places. And uh, like I said, we, we're now going to look forward gleefully to the FA Cup. That's right. And of course, Mr. Romain popped up again. And uh, mm. you know, him and Nat Penny are uh, always getting the odd goal here and there, keeping it going. Yeah, I mean, I think that's 11 for, for Elliot, and I think that's got six or seven. Um, Jamie Taylor weighed in in the last round of the FA Cup. We spread them around, to be fair, this season a bit more. And uh, I don't care who scores, as long as we do score. And uh, that's the first clean sheet we've had for a little while, and that's that's always encouraging as well. I thought I thought Kieran Kin, Kinder John, in particular, was outstanding. But all of the defenders defended very, very well. Uh, and in this league, you have to do that. You have to defend your box, you know, incessantly sometimes when the when the pressure's on. But we stood firm, and like I said, I, I, I don't think you can moan that we won the game. But it's not the way we wanted to play football. But we wanted to win. You mentioned about the FA Cup. That's this time mm. next week. Um, did that affect how people are looking at things today? Well, I hope not. I mean, like I said to them, I said a programme note, you know, a bloke who ch chases two rabbits catches none. So you've got to, you've got to get after the one prize. Today was three points. We had a point at the start. We managed to add two to that, take three points every day of the week. So next week now, we've got a whole week of planning. We've had them watched again today. We've had them watched a couple of times previous. Um, we'll do our homework. I'm sure they'll have done theirs. Um, and hopefully they've watched us today because I don't think we'll play as badly as that in the second half. Um, but we go there knowing, you know, we've got, we haven't got anything to lose really. Everybody thinks it's possibly an easier game because they're at the bottom of their league. But make no doubt about it, they're at a higher level of football than, our, than we are. Um, and we have to give them that respect, the same as we did with Aldershot. Uh, but we go in there and hopefully we can be in the hat on Monday morning. Well, you've always said that you wanted a cut run and now you're in the, uh, the first round proper. Yeah, I mean, we've actually hit the post, for want of a better expression, the last couple of years. And, you know, we, we, both times it was really late on in the fourth qualifying round to the same side. So I felt a little bit aggrieved that we hadn't done that. But, you know, we've, we've done well. It, the Hadley game wasn't easy, the replay, um, but the lads did very well and were excellent against Aldershot. So, um, yeah, it's one of, them, one of them things nice to, when it's finished, to look back and think, you know what, we did really well there. But at the moment, we still, we're still in it. We know we're not going to win the FA Cup, but if we could win another game in the FA Cup, then we'd take the club to somewhere they've never been in our history. And that, that's ultimately a nice legacy to have. Well, that sounds great. It's a terrific moment for the club mm -hmm. and uh, fingers crossed for next week. Well done today, Tom. Thank you. Thanks very much. Chris.